only 8% of women are an hourglass body shape. So if you're an hourglass body shape, or you think you might be, and you struggle with your style and knowing what works for you, and it makes it difficult to feel great in your clothes and embrace your body, well, this video is for you. Now, the defining characteristics of someone who is an hourglass body shape is someone that is wide in the bust, wide in the hips, and that their waist is generally 25% smaller than their bust and hip area. But the bust and hip measurements are pretty close. They tend to have a full bust and a full bottom. This tends to be the more curvier types, but again, the waist is pretty narrow and drawn in. So somebody with an hourglass shape can be a size zero, they can be a size 10, they can be a size 20, because it's not about the size, it's about the proportions of the bust to the hips to the waist. One of the most known and famous hourglass figures is Sofia Vergara. So you'll see in this first look I'm sharing of hers, she's wearing a dress that has a lot of extra fabric both on top and on bottom. And even though there is somewhat of defined waist with a belt, there's still so much fabric that her shape is getting lost. And it's also the length of the dress is really long that this isn't the most flattering look for an hourglass shape. Now compare that last look with this one where she's wearing something that is shorter. It's above the knee. It's a fitted silhouette, which the, a fitted silhouette works beautifully on an hourglass shape. So something that accentuates the waist, but is fitted and tailored on both the bust and the hip area. So if you're an hourglass body shape, wearing something that's more fitted on the top and the bottom, but with a defined waist while also showing your legs is really flattering. So in this next more casual look for Sofia Vergara, you'll see just in this simple white t-shirt and jeans, she has a crew neck t-shirt and just a simple pair of jeans, but the t-shirt is not tucked in. So again, this is one of the things I always say, for pretty much every shape, you want to tuck in your shirt. You want to accentuate your waist. Do a little French tuck, a little half tuck. There's not that much I would change about this look, but compared to this next look where she's wearing more of a V-neck, the V-neck is actually more flattering for someone that is more curvy and more fuller in the bust area. It just shows more skin. It makes it softer in the top. And again, she has done that little half tuck here, which helps accentuate the waist. So compared to the last look and this look, again, it's just those really subtle differences, those subtle changes, but you'll see this one looks more flattering on her body shape. So in this next look, You'll see again, Sofia Vergara is wearing her jeans, but I don't really think this look works for her because the top is so billowy, it's so oversized. And for an hourglass frame, you don't want something that's oversized. It's actually not gonna be flattering. So there's so much extra fabric, there's that ruffle detail, and the waist isn't defined. She doesn't have that half tuck or that full tuck going on here to define her waist. So it's just not that flattering. It makes her look wider on top than she is. Now compared to this next outfit, this just looks so much more flattering. The top is more streamlined. There's not a lot going on. So you can actually see her body shape and her waist is accentuated. The jeans look very similar, very similar style. They almost look like they're the same, but the last look compared to this look, is completely night and day different. This look just is so much more flattering on her and the fabric is softer so it just lays so much nicer on the body. There's no excess ruffles or anything going on. It's more streamlined and tailored to her body and that just is more flattering for this body shape. So the next famous hourglass shape is Christina Hendricks. So you'll see in this first look, she's wearing things that are tailored and fitted to her body, which is great. And you can kind of see her waist, even though her shirt isn't tucked in because her top is actually tailored to her body. So that all works great. But the one thing I would change here is the pockets in the chest area. If you are busty, I think pockets in the chest area, they just don't fall right on the body. You'll see here the pockets go above her bust line. So it looks a little strange. It looks a little awkward. It also looks like it adds more fabric. So pockets on the chest are great if you're someone that's a pear shape or someone that's smaller on top and you're looking to add more width on the top add by adding more fabric on the top. But for her, I really wish this top, it would look, be a perfect outfit if it didn't have the pockets on the bust area. Now in this next look, while the top doesn't have pockets on it, if she had tucked this top in, if she had defined her waist more, it would be a much more flattering silhouette on her hourglass shape. And same thing here, she chose to wear something that's a crew neck that's more oversized on top 
and I feel like if she just did that half tuck, if she defined her waist, this look really would work beautifully. But because of the way it's styled, I don't think an oversized top like we saw before with Sofia Vergara is the most flattering option for her. Now in this next look where she's wearing more of a knit, it's a fitted structured knit on top, but it has the softness to it because it is a knit and her waist is defined. And even though she's wearing, you know, a slim jean in all of these looks, I feel like this type of top works best for her. It's simple, there's not a lot going on, it's streamlined. That's what you wanna look for if you're an hourglass shape. Look for simple, streamlined silhouettes, fabrics, and clothes that fit your body, that just fall naturally on your body. Not too much fuss. That's what's gonna be the most flattering. And I think here in this beautiful red dress, this is a perfect example of how to style an hourglass body shape. So here you see it's fitted, it's tailored to her body, and the waist is drawn in. You see you know, her collarbone, so it's softness in the top area. There's not a lot of fuss going on. The shoulders are soft, the fabric just lays nicely on her. The bottom is also fitted to her body. It has structure to it, and the dress comes above the knee, so you see her legs there. And I feel like this silhouette, there's not fuss, it's simple, it's classic. I think this works really great for an hourglass shape. So the next hourglass shaped celebrity is Scarlett Johansson. So I think this is the perfect casual look for this body type. Her waist is defined, she's tied her button down, shirt she's given a little tie so you can see her waist, you can see her jeans there. There's no pockets in the chest area. She has her sleeves rolled up so it gives a more casual feminine vibe and there's not a lot of fuss going on. It's very simple streamlined silhouettes. And for this next look, more of a red carpet look, I think this also works beautifully for an hourglass shape. So her waist is defined by that black band, which again, sometimes you can define your waist with a belt, a wider belt, a darker belt will define it even more than a lighter color or a thinner belt, but something that has a wide band around the waist because it's fitted on top and you can see her arms, it's just, it really fits her body silhouette. There's not extra fabric in the hip area, it just kind of flows down naturally. So this is a beautiful silhouette and an hourglass shape. Now the next hourglass celebrity that I'm gonna share is Kim Kardashian. Now some might say she leans more towards a pair and she really is somewhere between the two, but I just wanna show you for our purposes here for an hourglass shape, I wanna show you some styling do's and don'ts. So in this first look, she's wearing a super oversized sweatshirt, which again, isn't gonna be the most flattering for this body type because it just makes her look wider than she is. Now, when you compare it to this next look, this is a perfect hourglass look, in my opinion. Everything is streamlined to her body, it's fitted, it's soft fabrics. Her waist is defined because it's, it's her skin shows there, she's wearing it cropped. Her top is fitted, her bottom's fitted. There's not extra fabric, there's not a lot of fuss going on. So this is the quintessential perfect hourglass style, in my opinion. And now in this next look, I wanna show you. So because again, she does veer towards more of an hourglass pear shape, you'll see here having the structure in the shoulder area, it widens this area and she's still bringing in her waist. She's defining her waist while still having a curvy bottom. So this really gives her that hourglass shape, more of an hourglass than a pear because she's widening her top half. So now someone with an inverted triangle shape, they are already wider on the top, they're wider in the shoulders, and they may wanna minimize that. They would avoid tops that have more structure. One of the biggest mistakes an hourglass shape can make is wearing boxy or oversized tops that hide her waistline. So an hourglass shape, again, really benefits from soft fabrics, something that follows the silhouette of the body. You wanna avoid stiff fabrics, especially if you're wearing button downs because they will tend to gate more, they will tend to pull more. Look for softer fabrics, silks, knits, cottons. Those are the fabrics that are really gonna lay beautifully on the body. And think about avoiding ruffles or pleats or any extra fabric anywhere on the body. Look for simple, streamlined silhouettes. Now, if you're not an hourglass body shape and you wanna know the styling do's and don'ts for your particular body shape, watch this playlist here where I'm creating a whole series of styling do's and don'ts for your body shape so that you look and feel amazing in your clothes. And make sure to subscribe for new videos every Thursday, helping you define your style, feel great in your clothes, and embrace your body.